Hello. Yes. <coughs> so this this live stream is going to be uh, learning live stream. Uh, a couple of days ago, a guy sent me a PR about the CMake. That he sent me a PR to the TT project, and is uh, basically CMake is this. Uh, a thing that will make make file specifically for that platform. So, if you write directly to make file, that means that you're writing for specific platform. So maybe you have to do it multiple times. But for CMake, okay, you just uh, write down some requirement, the library things, the header stuff, things like that. What you need, and then CMake gonna make the make file for multiple platform. So, yeah. So I think this, this, the guest, <clears throat> in order to under, fully understand this PR and for the future as well, I think I should learn what, what actually CMake is. I, I have been ignoring this CMake for quite a long time and just use Make, make 5 on Mac OS for long. <clears throat> now it's time to learn. So I created a scrap directory CMake and I'm gonna, we're going to go through the step that laid out on the CMake website. And see how things go there. Yeah. All right. Without further ado, <coughs> we're not waiting anymore. <coughs> Let's jump right to it. Below is a step-by-step -step tutorial covering common build system use case that CMake helped to address. Many of these topics have been introduced in Mason CMake as a separate issue, but ah. Uh, Okay, Mushroom CMake. Let me fix the light a little bit. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. <coughs> Why is this a book? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. As several issues, but seeing how they all work together in an example project can be very helpful. So, this tutorial can be found in the test tutorial directory. I'm gonna go to that link as well. Yeah. of the CMake source code tree. Each step had its own subject containing a complete copy of the serial of for that step. See also the directory section of the CMake build system and CMake language manual page for an overall CMake concept and source tree connection. Okay, step one. The most basic project is an executable build from source code files. Okay, the most basic project is an executable build from source code files. For simple project, a two-line CMake list .txt file is all that is required. That uh, this will be the starting point for our tutorial. The CMake list TXT file looks like okay. So I'm gonna create a sample project here. Maybe sample project. Go to it and then create CMake list .txt file. CMake minimum CMake minimum required Oh, okay, so it recognizes the syntax already Cool uh, Let's check the version of my CMake CMake Oh, I think today is a little bit quite dark My, my light is not working at all Okay CMake, so my version is 3.4.1 anyway. I just use 2.6. <coughs> Project. Uh, yeah, let, let, let's change this folder. Let's actually, let's actually back to tutorial. This is much better. Tutorial. Yeah, we go to that. And then CMake. Okay, project 
Project is the name tutorial. Right, add executable. Tutorial. Um. <clears throat> okay. I think it should uh, try to refer back to that guy uh, PR a bit. I want to see how how things relate to each other. He start with the same, the same, the same as um, what the tutorial read out. So main file API YouTube is sixty four. Okay. So it's like you start with the executable name and then the source file in new line. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, it's possible not to be in a new line, I think, because the format PR, he start in a new line per source, per source file. So anyway, we're going to go with this. Dot C. Yeah, that's what you can see. Note that the example use lowercase command in the cmakers.txt file. Upper K, uh, no. Upper, lower, and mixed K command are supported by CMake. The short code for tutorial will compute the square root of a number and the first version of is your and so on. Okay, let's, let's see if I change this to something like that. No. Uh, uppercase. Oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, so it's a port also. Okay, you, you change the case. But the, sample, the tutorial here is go with the all lowercase. 
which is good. I like to. And next one, we're gonna go create a tutorial. Tutorial C. Yeah, we go with C. No need to for a CPP here. Tutorial C. <coughs> and then we're gonna just follow to the sample that we uh, out. I'm not going to just copy and paste in these cases. Type it in. Compute the square root of a number. Input std angle first. std loop. Input matter first. So it's less than in the number. Computer's code. Double input value to uh, ATOF. Yeah, ATOF is not that portable code to use. In, if it's your production code and you need to support multiple platforms, try to avoid it. Let's do R2. Let's do the R2. Square root of. Oh, here. G. What is this G? New thing, every single day. Uh, since G in print app. This is just. The position of print app will specify a percent G. Let's see how. Do the shot of the same button. I think it's okay. What is version G? <clears throat> Maybe we can find some information here. Can find some version G? A, B, C. Call to the positions this one here. Okay. Tile format. Okay, so G here. The argument is print in star F or in star E. Oh. We shall give full impression in minimum space. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. So G will print in either percent F or percent E in which case is a uh, natural number uh, that we in case there are a lot of like zero we shall give full impression in minimum space hmm. all right percent G percent G root of G is percent G Input value, output value. Okay. <coughs> Can I open the file for one? What is that? Oh. That's not good. No. 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 Start from the top. Why you cannot? Um, oh, 
this inside. Okay, inside this room. Okay. <clears throat> right. Adding a version number and configure header file. Adding a version number and configure header file. The first feature we will add is to provide our executable and project with a version number. Why you can do this exclusively in the source code, doing it in the CMake list.tlt by providing more flexibility. To add a version number, we modify the CMake list.tlt file as follows. Okay. Go to tutorial. Yep. Before add executable, we're gonna do the version number oh. set tutorial version measure one set tutorial version minus one configure a eight to five to pass some of the C setting. The sub code. How much ahead of to pass some of the CMAKE name? Setting to pass some of this. Okay, let's see what this is. Configure file. Bracket, bracket, yeah. bracket of parentheses. This parentheses, this is bracket. Project source, the project source, the tutorial config dot push dot admin. Project binary the tutorial config dot patch add the binary tree to the search part for input file. Add the binary tree to the search part for input file. So that we will find the real computer fish. Hmm. So any confused at the moment? the binary tree okay let's just try it out what is snake what's like binary draw this is the binary that we are the most recent Okay, this is a beautiful mm, Okay. Directory. Project binary. The. <coughs> Right. As 
is key to him. Since the configure file will be written into the binary tree, we must add that directory to the list of part to search for the full file. We then create a total tutorial configs.hash.in. Tutorial config.hash. Oh no. Oh no. Tutorial configs.in. So I have a feeling that we're gonna change this value here. This real version minor between at. So it's like we tag along this file to the binary di directory as well, so the executable can find the things that we change the value here. When she make convertible this header file, the value for this and this will be replaced by the value from the CMake list file. Next we want to find this real to see Expect to include the config header file and to make use of the version number. The result source code is the list below. <coughs> okay, so I'm gonna include the config that has. Tutorial version measure version minor. Right. The main change are the inclusion of the tutorial config.h file and printing our version number as part of the user message. Okay. Now we will add the library to our project. Which is excuse now? How to excuse me? Yeah, I want to run it now. Don't want to just go proceed to the next step first. Run it, I think maybe we just use uh, excuse me. I'm not sure. Let's try. So, excuse me here. Mm. Oh, cool. So it's like a uh, CMake do CMake does his work. It's one to find C compiler, C plus compiler, check the working environment, something like that. Play, yeah, 
this is some this is the value that I have set because I have a custom Xcode installed on the different non-normal non-default part so yeah it's, it's grabbed it correctly and detecting signal every uh, done done computer generate done before I have been very tend to so make file is created at this part already mm, quite good what if I want to just clean just then clean clean yeah can I check this clean boom no Target pre install. Okay, how to. I want to know how to. How to clean CMake build files. There is no CMake clean. I usually build the project in a single folder like build. So if I want to make clean, I just I can just remove it. The build folder in the same directory as the root is usually a good choice to build your project. You simply keep CMake the location of the CMake as argument. For example, CD. Oh, quite good. I'm gonna try to just like uh, remove the build file from CMake and let's start from the top. Let's, let's check it out. Let's check this out. What inside CMake file? Hmm. Start and hit CMake CMake file. Remove it out. Uh, and yeah, remove make file. What else? Remove CMake install. Ooh, I'm gonna check it first. Okay, so we're gonna create a build folder, go to build, and then call CMake like this, but refer back to the source loot. Okay. Quite nice. And we here, we got it in this case. So I think make file will adapt to the, the folder that we we specify so we just need to, to know that the source load is not at the current but go back a little yeah oh it's copy all the cmix files inside here yeah, it's copy all the things inside here so anyway let's check it out let's make Version minor. So it's real the cache. Ooh. Not 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 that just yet. Yeah, so it seemed to work, but I just have a problem and it might be a mistake from my side. What? Uh two three version minor. Right. Minor zero. Okay, so this is the value that we're gonna replace this after CMake does the thing 
replace one with the serial version major and also zero with the serial version minor. And we also include these two files into the conversion part in order for the executable file to find the tutorial config the header later on. So in this case, um, we have no need to just create by ourselves to the config.hash. We create this file tutorial config.h.in and specify this placeholder for CMake to replace the value later. Hey, say hi to Pre-Sister on Doju. It's quite a uh, Chinese New Year already. Uh, hope you have a good time and if you go back to your hometown, please be safe. Yeah. For, for my case, I'm gonna go back to to my girlfriend's hometown in Chongqing uh, starting next month. Right, okay. Yeah, and it's okay, it's done. It's done, it's done. I can I can do it again, I mean remove all the stuff here. And she make returning back to the root source. Right. And yep. We can check the tutorial config files dot header. And the value get replaced. That's a good thing. We can make still version minor still no version minor still do a version minor still no version minor still do a version minor Happen. Tutorial configs. Yeah, the, the value is there. What happened? What's the expect expression? What expression do you want? Expression here. What expression you want? What expression is this? Expect expression. That again. No, it's, it's okay. What happened with that? And we have two two here. PNGB should be PNGB should be one. Yes, um, let try to find what the problem is this. Tutorial version minor. Tutorial conflicts. No, it's not right here. Tutorial conflicts. Let's check the conflicts that just get replaced with. Version minor. Silo. Right? Queen. Make it again. Oh, this is a problem now. What the hell? Okay, this is weird. This is weird.
Okay, let's try it again. I'm not sure what the, the problem is. It's very good problem. Okay, it's done now. I'm not sure what's what this problem, but but the thing is 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 okay now. Tutorial and it's gonna print one pi zero. And if we enter some number there, square root of four is two. So yeah, it's okay. And we can go to the next step, adding a library. Step two. Okay, so that is step one. Now we will add the library to our project. This library will contain our own implementation for computing the square root of a number. The executable can then use this library instead of the standard square root function provided by the compiler. For this tutorial, we will put the library into a subdirectory called matfunctions. It will have the following one line of cmake list.tech. Right? Uh, the sort file has one function called my square root that provides similar functionality to the compiler square root function. To make use of the new library, we add an add subdirectory called the top level cmake list file so that the library will get built. Okay. So let me add add library. It's going to be inside the map functions directory. My s my square root dot c. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start again making a folder of the map functions. Okay, let's go inside there inside that and then yeah we're gonna create the file let's see waiting to be add the side code later okay to make use of the new wrapper we add and add subdirectory call in the top level of cmakelist.tech file so that library will get built we also add another include a direction directory so that the mat function and mat function hash header file can be found for the function prototype. The last change is to add the new library to the executable. The last few line up the top level semic file. Now it looks like this. Okay, so we're gonna um Add subdirectory. Yeah, add subdirectory first. No, no, include directories. This is the mat function directory that we add. We will add the sort file inside it. We'll check sort the mat functions. All right and add sub directory okay so include directory is just for us to discover the header file of the map functions that we're gonna write it and add sub directory
is because uh, as subversary to let the library get built. And like this. And Not super clear for this. Which uh, which line should we add? Okay, I'm gonna comment this too. Uh, include directory of map function of our implementation of square root function in order for us to see the function prototype. Yeah, because the function will type file in the header file of that, so we need to get the input directory and this one get um, as subdirectory in order in order for it to get built, but add library here. Okay. It seems like at rivalry here is just to, do, to let the CMake know that okay, there's another source for check inside. We may source why. Can maybe we can just put it here. Add the executable. Right and okay, and then we executable already, and then we can add target link libraries and link it together. To the real map function. Now let us consider making the math function very optional. In this tutorial, in this tutorial there easily there really isn't any reason to do so, but with larger library and libraries that rely on third-party code, you might want to. The first step is to add an option to top level CMake list file. Should we use our own map? Okay. Add at the top. At the top, at the top. We can do this. Should we use our own map function? Well, it's good to know that we can do this as well. Option use my map. Next line use tutorial for why map implementation on hmm. okay this will show up in the CMake GUI with the default value up on that the user can change at desired this setting will be stored in the cache so that the user does not need to keep setting in each time they run CMake on this project uh -huh. Okay, so, so so that gets stored inside the build folder and also in the CMake file here. In the CMake file, as you can see here. This is a cat folder. The next chain is to make the build and linking of the map function reliably conditional. To do this, we change the end of the top level of file to look like the following. Okay. So we're gonna change this. 
according to whether we set on or off use my mat okay okay so seems like a cmake use the same tab like a python right i think so you use a tab to indicate that it's inside the, the if statement or something like that so include as subdirectory set x direct set extra lips uh, value should be this is power uh, bracket extra what, 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 extra extra lips map functions Then and use my map. Okay. <clears throat> Target link libraries tutorial. This one is gonna change to extra. Oops. Okay, so in this case, it's like. Let me see set command. Set command in CMake. Set Okay. Um, set the given variable in the current function of the scope. If the parent scope option is given, the variable will be set in the scope above the current scope. Above the current scope. If the parent scope option is given, the variable will be set in the scope above the current scope. What the hell is this? I guess it's, 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 I guess it's something like a, you try to set extra lib variable name with this value. No. Set my screen some text, set some text. Let's make that. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think it is something like a set extra lib variable with the value that is already existing in, in, in itself. In which case it's empty at the moment and then it's gonna set mat function inside the extra lib. So I think we, uh, we have to, to say to use that something like this. It's gonna work as well. Yeah. But we go along with the sample and we're gonna try to remove it and see what happens later. Okay, so where are we now? Target link memories. Yeah, and at the end, we link the executable that we in a compile, ah, uh, we yeah, we compile, link it with the extra library that we have. So it's some some sort like a link flat, L flat here in the compilation place, uh, in the linking place. Mm. This use the setting of use my math to determine if the math function should be compiled. 
note the use of variable extra leaf in this case to collect up any optional libraries to later be linked into the executable. This is a common approach used to keep larger projects with many optional components clean. The corresponding change to the source code are very straightforward and leave us with. Alright. Let's let's save this first and then go back uh, go to the source file. Yeah. So we're gonna check whether we we have this defined or not. Oh let me get this out of the way. So it's like a <clears throat> use my map is going to be a variable that the source code will see as well at the comparison step. So it's like a you you send this where where this you send this where D e and then you use yeah when you try to compile something my sort file dot C and you you use this along with other like uh, include something yeah so you send this along the way as well good to know excuse me right yeah so if not if use my mat no 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 if use my mat define what we're gonna do with it if use my map is means that we're gonna use our own implementation of math function so in this case we're gonna include math functions dot hash okay and yeah at this step we also need to check if define use my map Yeah, use my mat. Copy this. Oh, this is. Uh, oh no no no! This is. Hmm? What what am I doing here? It's just like, yeah. Oop. So, if use my map, we're gonna use our own function. In this case, it's gonna be my square root. And if it's not, it's gonna use the normal map. Yeah, we can do it better like this, like, uh, um, if define use my map, it's going to include map functions at hash. But if not, we're gonna include we're gonna include here yeah it should work the same it's just improve it so we're not going to like improve unnecessary header files if we didn't use that okay and this one but in the source code we make use of use my map as well this is provide from cmake to the source code to the tutorial config dash hash Hmm. Fine, but I think the following logic. All right, all right. Okay, okay. My mistake. I told you about the option. Use my map is going to be generated with the comparison variable right away. No, it's not. Uh, we need to let it know to real tutorial confusion. Yeah, that that that's what my just prediction and guess. Let's make define uh yeah she make define yeah so this line is going to be translate later into comparison variable as i said my map right okay what else we need what else we need nothing else Okay. Include directory. Hmm. Let's move forward. Installing and testing step three. 
for the next step we will add install rules and testing support to our project okay i think we, we can we can build we can build now and test what happened uh see make Ooh. cannot use my link language for okay it seems we missed something because we didn't we didn't uh we didn't create such math functions as yet. That does contain a CMS I think we need to check. We need to check at the repository assemble. Hmm. Correct. So step two. <clears throat> Mat functions. Okay, so so library that we create need to have also CMake list as well in order to build things. Okay, we can we can see this. Just define the my yeah <coughs> return iteration something like that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. And this is the function signature. Just like that. See make list. Oh. See make list is add library. Okay, so I I might miss something here. Add libraries. The excuse table can then use this library instead of the standard schedule for sure. For this table, we will put the library into a separate comment function. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna yeah we create folder math functions already. Let me go to that and then. This is a soft file for our implementation and we're gonna have header file as well header file for this case is matfunction.hash matfunctions.hash and also cmake list as well cmake list yeah uh, cmake list.tech and inside it's going to be just for line of that thing in this case is add libraries map functions Let's see so i i quite uh okay uh for my understanding is that add libraries library here yeah no need for here Add library here is similar to the similar to adding here as executable because this is the the main the main source file the main things that are gonna be entry of the program but this one is for math function is as the library that we're gonna link against so it's use the same uh, use the add library but this one just add executable. And the parameter is similar to each other. Tutorial in math function. This is to indicate the folder that the source are in. <clears throat> okay, okay. I just narrate what I am thinking and thought. Math function. Okay. Next, we're gonna implement. No. First, before we implement it, we're gonna define the function signature here. <clears throat> Let's see. Can be double. Yeah, I'm gonna add as well. In explicitly extend my sqrt double input. And this is um header. Ok, 
Okay. We just start spying now. I gonna follow through this line by line without copying. Computer square. So we can cash cash anything that we miss or learn something new. If there's any. Include tutorial config. Oh this thing is again. Okay. So in tutorial config here it will be generated in run time after they compile the things and create executable. So this is gonna be placed alongside the executable file. So it's fine. Map.h stdlib.h if define use my map oh no <clears throat> I long short file sorry long short file long short file <laughs> yeah yeah this one this one Okay, start over. In DT. Okay, map functions. This is the header that we defined already. We created and <clears throat> a hack square root calculation using simple operations okay actually this is the implementation can be anything maybe it's double my square root but it do something else just just for example but in this case i just gonna go along with this double x Double results, double delta result equal to x. Do 10 iteration in i for i equal 0. i less than 10. Yeah, I, I, love, I love to do this more, but some, some are, someone might, might want to do this. It's depend. Okay, so if result less than or equal to zero, <clears throat> result equal to zero point three, zero point one. I am I'm not going to look at the detail of implementation here because it's it's just something uh, for the example. There the result result. Delta results. Whatever the result that get at is fine. Computing square root of percent g. Yeah, percent g is a new thing for me that I learned today as well. Percent g is um here you can see. No 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 not this not this. Percent g is like a percent g percent g. Percent g is like um. It's going to get you either percent %E or percent %F depend on whichever give you a minimum space. Percent %E is like uh, something that you will write uh, here. Look on the screen. Something like a 10E10. So it's like a yeah, or this is 10 million, right? This is 100. This is 1000. Yeah, this is percent %E. Yeah. or it can get you percent f percent f in which case is 14 points so whichever these two produce the minimum i think space in this case mean the length of the corridor that it can print because the 14 point and stop and double is depend on the number that uh, the system can produce closely the number to represent that or not because if we define zero, actually it is not it's not zero, it's, it's something very close to zero, it's, it's 
the system here is, is not like a 100% can represent all the number yeah. <coughs> to be percent g but I normally don't use percent g it's, it's weird for me okay x and result and then return result yeah whatever my square root is here just fine we're gonna we, we're gonna go we're just gonna compile it yeah so yep. okay um yeah i think it's it's it's, it's okay now it's okay now i think and we go back let's go to build um, I can just remove everything here first. Remove build because I think this is the the way that CMake try to to make. I think whenever we make a new thing and stuff, that because then there, there's no CMake clean or anything like that to clean the build file that generated by CMake. So we need to create a new folder every single time. We go to it and then CMake go back a single step. Now it's gonna compile. Let's see what happened. Ah, Mat function C make list take one. Add rivalry cannot create target map function because another target with the same name already exists. That's my bad. That's my bad. Uh, because I'm I'm not totally sure what is this in C actually. As subdirectory, I think we can we can check on that. Check the CMake file of the main things here. Yeah, this is a CMake format function. Okay. Include directory that function. There's nothing wrong here. This is okay. 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 It says it say that I should see the lock, so I'm gonna see the lock. Tutorial use map. Okay, so CMake Defy is going to translate to Defy here. CMake cache? No. What, 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 what happened? <clears throat> It says that our map CMake map functions yeah. at rivalry map functions. It's the same. Okay, okay. Solve this problem first. Not sure what the problem is. Just. Let's just try it again. It's 
Smart again. Okay. It says the other is see make alert at math function, see make list take one line number one. Add library cannot create target map function because another target with the same name already exists. The existing target is static library. Okay, I'm gonna try to find this. So it's the same name already exists. Remove this. Uh, remove this. Target include the word package. Edward cannot create target because no, it's an instinct. Hopefully someone else also yeah. okay. This is the same way I get in case of <coughs> Not sure. Try and find more. See documentation for policy. Okay, policy scenic. Maybe we find some clue about that. Logical target name must be globally unique. Alright. Target names create with the add, add executable, add library, and add custom target and logical build target names. Logical target names must be globally unique because the nickname may be referring to unambiguously both in CMA code and on make two command lines. Logical name are used by a code and what supposed to do IDE generator to produce meaningful project name for the target. The logical name of executable and rivalry target does not have to correspond to the physical file name build. Consider using the output name target property to create two target with the same physical name while keeping the logical name distinct. You see me policy command to set it to all on the system. Let's go see this guy is. different sub project with same target. If you don't want to modify anything so you can build all the project as sub project, then you can use external project app to be installed. Every subfolder contains a complete library that can compile by server. Every library has different material. Okay, I'm gonna try to separately compile math function here. Yeah, I'm gonna compile math function separately to see whether something wrong or not. And see make.
Okay, seems okay. Um, then Mick. He should generate object fire, I think. Yeah, it's generate object fire and also static library map functions here. I I can just um how to find the symbol is this again. How to how to two, I think. No. Let me search my grave and go. Symbol table. Okay, and M. Yeah, you can see here, this is a symbol that generates from the static file. That's my square root there inside. F prints after we use, and yeah. So, it's okay. Let me check it again. Oh. Object file versus. The same. That's right. So we can, we can build the library on its own no problem about this but there seem to be there seem to be a problem when we try to build it from the main source file if it is mad vortex source here mad Subdirectory Mac functions says if there is I confused now what happened it's okay now and we can make it and yes executable is there and let's see sky loot of 4 is 2 yeah so so this one is used is used our own implementation so if we change the cmake list here no 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 First before we try that, I think I'm gonna check whether this kind of thing and if and what I just removed here caused the problem or not. Uh, I'm gonna go to map function first. Map function and then I try to remove the build. Yeah, so it's all clean. And then, okay, let's remove this as well. Try it again. Again and see me. Seems to be the syntax earlier. Yeah, yeah. So this caused the problem. The syntax here. You, you should not use NF. Use. You should not use this. You should change to this. To this. To this. Yeah. To this. So in this case, the tutorials has. Uh, wrong syntax inside I guess what is that yeah you see here and if I'm not sure what or why is that I we specify the version that she may gonna use already that is 2.6 the same maybe it's the version I, I'm not, I don't know but anyway, this one should not be this. 
right? And then we are good to go. Now we're gonna change thing a little bit. I'm gonna change this to off. Let's see what happens. On and off. Yeah. And you can see that the Wim also recognized the syntax. I, I type on. It's a little bit more white. Brightness color. Yeah, it's no, it's no, it's less bright, but on. Yeah, it's recognized. Off as well, it's recognized. Okay. Yeah, let's start from the top and we build it again. I'm gonna remove the build file. This, this generate a lot of kind of trash here, I think. Uh, make build folder and then go to the build directory. See make again. So this time it should not use our own implementation of the square root. So it should not print 10 line anymore. It should be use math.h whatsoever. So make. That's right. And we. Execute it with four. Yeah. It's used math.h now. Let's I check the config file. Oh you can see here that um, whenever we specify off here, this one is going to be cut just comment. Yeah, there's nothing there. But it's good that CMake also generates such a just such a line for us in the header file as well. But comment it. To let us know that actually this is off this is not on okay I think we grab the foundation understanding for the CMake now and CMake should have a clean command make it more if I do do things like this no it's just, there's nothing here there's no CMake clean or anything like that but that should be make clean right yeah, that, that, that is make clean. I inspect make file a little bit. Maybe there's install as well. Pre install, pre install, pre install. Oh. Prepare target for installation. Yeah, it's that there's nothing like a make install that install this app into your system so the things that you may have to like uh, add more target inside the make file yourself so let's go like a uh, install here and you can do something like a copy from yeah copy tutorial to your user local bin and yeah and that's it for make install maybe yeah, you have to do it yourself. I'm gonna not do it now. Okay. So let's test one more thing. Let's change it back to on and then let's go to the build folder. Uh, I wanna sh I wanna check whether CMake adapt to the chain things, even though I didn't remove the I didn't remove the build folder yet. And I remake it again. Let's see what happened. Make tutorial and then put by four. No, it doesn't catch the things up for you. It doesn't. So the clean way to do it to always remove build folder and then you start it over. Yeah. Make again. Okay, so so yeah, so this should be the the warning list. Make and then two, three, or four. Right, let's catch up now. Okay, so let's move on to step three. I think. Step three. Then I remove this build folder as well. Start it over. Right. Installing and testing step 3. For the next step, we will add install rules and testing support to our project. The install rules are very straightforward for the math function library we set up. For the math function library we set up, 
the relay and the header file to be installed by adding the following two lines to the net function. Wow! So it's going to have install command as well. So this is good. Whenever you like uh, prepare the header file for the library you created, and you use CMake to prepare all the files and copy into the include directory, and also the executable file, or in this case, it's just the static library into the binary folder. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I, I say this because I use all the time make file, not, not CMake. I, I tend to just directly write it in simplest way as possible. And we need to go to the math fo math function here. C make list. C make list. Yeah. Um. Add the following two lines to math function C make list. Install. Install target. Install target. Math functions. Destination bin install again files net functions dot hash destination input oh. okay so the first slide seems to tell that okay for the target that we try to build this project in this case net functions copy the executable file yeah the target result should be executable or library or whatever into the binary and then install this file to include directory and that is all there is to it at this point you should be able to build the tutorial then type make install oh I'll build the install target from the IDE and it will install the appropriate header file library and executable. The CMake variable CMake install prefix. Do we? No, 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 I, I missed the step. For the application, the following line are at. Okay, so, so, so this section will solve the problem that I said earlier about uh, install to your system. So, no need anymore, no need to modify the make file yourself. You can add it here. For the application, the following lines are added to the top level of cmakelist.txt file to install the executable and configure header file. Uh, yeah, so we're done with the math functions cmakelist. We go back to the tutorial and then we modify that thing again. So this get it here. Add, uh, yeah, install it. Set up install target uh, install target tutorial destination bin install files Let's see. project binary the Tutorial configs.h destination include. Let us test it then. Okay, let's just see this first. That is all there is to it. At this point, you should be able to build the tutorial, then type make install or build the install target from the IDE. And it will install the appropriate header files, library, and executable. The CMake variable CMake install prefix is used to determine the root of where the file will be installed. Adding testing is also a very straightforward process. At the end of the okay, so so in this case, like a CMake install prefix, so we can change this to something else like a user local bin and things like that. But in this case, I think it's going to the current project folder. Let's test it. Make. Mm. make all right uh, let's test it a little bit it's used our own implementation and then let's try 
I'm not sure about this whether where, sh where it should be installed. I'm gonna check. Um, make install. No, no, no. We can check the make file itself. Install. Now, I see now. Because we add the install command in the from from the CMake make list, and now it's modified the make file first. Okay, here. Uh, special rule for the target install. Oh, it's not just normal. Um, she make app. It create an app once. It's not what we want actually. But it's do its work. Let us try to so Yeah. Oh no. We make install. No, it's called CMake from the app. Uh, really? Do I have Do I have CMake as well? Oh I have CMake. Okay, so, so this is just this is Where is it? Where is the source book? Okay, so we can use the GUI if you want to build the things. Okay, okay. Let, let I inspect make file a little more. C make, C make, C make, C make. Seems there no nothing there. Let just make install here. Oh yeah, so it install into yeah the normal things. Use a local bin first. Include file as well. So typically normal for installation here. Yeah, this is the header. Uh, what about make clean? Make uninstall. Do the help. Uninstall now. Make clean, make remove, make uninstall again. No, so there's no whatsoever remove us. No, 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 make clean. Okay, we have to remove by ourselves then. Yeah, we can change. We can change. Um, I think we can change the target here. Uh, instead of go to bin, it's go to lib, something like that. Because it's the library. Yeah, I can do something like this. I'm gonna try to do this. But first, let I remove this. Remove it. Oh, come on. And remove this as well. And remove this as well. Okay, ready to do it again. Okay. Build. C make. Okay, so now tutorial should be locate at user local bin and math function should be located at as a library directory. Make library directory. Make make and next one. So lip mat functions here. Go there to the lips. We can check it. Five. Yeah, Right. Good. 
I remove it. Uh, um, So this work. Adding testing is also a very straightforward process. Add in of the top level, see make list tag. By we can add a number of basic tests. Huh? Add in of the top level, see make. Yeah, all oh, top level. Okay. I I read this word and I read this sentence. I read this sentence and I, I just thought is is mean that at the top of the see make list file. No, at the top level. Uh, in this case, top level is the CMake list that belong to tutorial file, tutorial project. We can add a number of basic tests to verify that everything is working correctly. Okay. So let's add it then. Include C test. Can I add it just here? I think the order might not be important, I, I presume. But let's test it. Does the application run? Add test. Tutorial runs. Tutorial 25? Okay. Does it? root of certified app test tutorial com 25 I guess this is a name 25 set test properties tutorial compute 25 Properties part regular expression twenty five is five. Okay, so this is the output. That is handle negative numbers. Oh, okay, so so it's good to know that C make also provide a simplistic of a testing suit. I might use it in the future. Seems handy. To to real negative. To to real twenty five. Set test. Properties equal to to real negative. Properties pass regular expression minus 25 is 0. Uh, it should be 0. And 1. Does is handle small numbers? Add test. Tutorials small. Tutorial 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Set test. Set test properties. Tutorial small. Pass regular expression. 1, 2, 3. Is this one? Okay. Almost there. Does the user's message work? Add test. Tutorial user. Tutorial. Hmm. 
So it's like a add test here, the name of the of the test itself, and the name of our target. In this case, tutorial, and then you can supply the additional parameter in order to execute test properties tutorial user properties pass if we are expression user. Um, yeah, so it's like uh, anything here and then numbers. Yes, after building one, may run the C test command line to, to run the test. The first test in purify the original one does not set for or other and has zero return value. This is the basic form of the test. The first test simply verify that the original one does not reflect for or otherwise crash. This is the basic form of the test. The next few tests are make use of the pass expression test property to verify that the output of the test contains certain string. In this case, verifying that the compute square root is what it should be and that the user message is printed when an incorrect number of arguments are provided. If you want to add a lot of text to text when input value, you might consider creating a macro like the form. Okay, so CMake can, we can also create a macro and use it inside of CMake as well. Do test. Yes, result. Quite good. Do test. For each invocation of do test, another test is added to the result with a name input. Save this to my list of uh, research. Cool. Okay. Let's check the source a little bit. Simplify. make if I use my mat. Oh okay. Another note is that C make if I use my mat need to be there in the header input and then we can specify at line here. Option use my mat in order to be on or off. Yeah it needs to be there in the input header file first. Use it. Okay, so so we print the use it like this, and the regular expression that we use inside the CMake list is something along the line like this. Okay, let's let's try to make it. Uh oh Okay And Okay, there are three tests as well Can we just see tests now? Right here Uh, 
<coughs> not one, not one, not one. Maybe we have to make first. And then see it has. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, this is a flaw. This is a flaw. So we need to make first after C make in order to run C test. So this liquid expression here dot in any character and anything any any character or server and numbers hmm. oh this work oh okay this is white card okay okay step four Okay, can I finish all of this within this stream or not? I'm not sure. Do you think I can install it as well? Okay, we're gonna finish step 4 first. Next, let's just consider adding some code to our project. That depends on feature that target perform in a half. Cool, useful. So, for this example, we will add some code that depends on whether or not the target perform has a log and exponential functions. Of course, almost every perform has this function, but for this to assume that they are less common. If the perform has log, then we will use that to compute the square root in the minus square root function. We first test for the availability of these functions using the check function axis. Let's see, make my code. In the top level of CMix, take five as well. All right. Um, we're gonna check it right here. So, does this system provide the lock and exponential functions? check function access oh right 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 check function access what is this is this this is a name specifically for C make or not Check if a C function can be linked. Alright. Include check function sys. Check function access. Function is lock. Add lock check function axis x x p hat x p next we want to find the tutorial configs the hash dot in to define those value if c make file them on the platform as well alright c make just need to be defined hat lock have uh, the It is important that the test for log and a exponential are done before the computer file command or configure config dot hash. The configure file command immediately configure the file using the current setting in CMA. Finally, in the my square function, we can provide an ultimate implementation based on it. Mm. Okay. So,
or something. My square root. So we're gonna let me check if define hat lock and define hat exponential. Then we're gonna use it. NF nest inside this a little bit ugly but yeah it's, it's fine Exponential and lock in order to do things. Right. Yeah, and as well. As well. Okay. Yeah, that is should be this one. Okay, Nick. Tutorial four. Yeah, this time is used exp and lock now exponential and lock so yeah we can go to step five and six seven but i'm gonna leave it for tomorrow i think so yeah for today is it's done and i i think we will learn i have learned cmake and the flow of it and the usefulness it can also use to do a minimum test case test to advance quite useful i think that's right okay See you tomorrow. Thank you for joining today. Bye-bye.